welcome back to Maple Madness. I'm Kate Boddicker. And I'm Isaac Swatsky. This week, we're taking a look at perhaps the biggest part of March Madness that's the most important to many people, the bracket. When it comes to brackets, there are many approaches to take. Personally, I always fill out two brackets two different ways. First, I like to play the bracket game. What I mean by this is I pick teams that analytically have a good chance of winning but are not popular picks. If you're playing in bracket challenges versus friends, you don't want to pick the teams that your friends are picking because that lowers your chances of winning the whole thing. Secondly, I always follow my heart and the eye test for my second bracket. I watch a lot of college basketball and I pick who I think is just the better team. And if you're like me, you prefer to take a more fun approach. In the past, I've done alphabetical order and then last year I did reverse alphabetical order, which led to me predicting the St. Peter's upset last year when the 15 seed beat the number two Kentucky in the first round. We've already made our brackets and we'll be taking you through them, but first we'll hear from the members of the GC community on how exactly they make their brackets. Every single mascot voted like in my mind on which mascots I like the best and then um, filled out my bracket that way. Um, and so having it done that way, um, Drake in Iowa is the winner because I like their bulldog. Do you have an interesting way of filling out your bracket? Um, I'm just going to do a normal one. I have yet to do the majority of my research. I haven't been as uh, on it as I have in past years, but then I was going to do a fun one on which mascot I think is the best. Well, I mean, you just, I don't know, you think about the colors, the colors of the team, and you choose whatever color that you like, and you put them as the winner. And so you do that until you get to the, the, the end, and that's what I did. Do you have an interesting way of filling out your bracket? I do not, actually. Um, I just really just pick teams on based on schedule and like how they're clicking throughout the year and um, how they're playing. So how are you filling out your bracket this year, Alyssa? Well, I just kind of go by gut feeling, and I read the name, and whatever name speaks to me, I pick it. Thanks to everyone who shared with us. Those were certainly some creative ideas. Indeed. Any of those ideas would be a great way to get started on your own bracket, especially if you've never made one before or don't follow college basketball closely. Now let's take a look at our own brackets and see who really has the best chance of winning our Maple Madness competition. For the bracket challenge we have here at the Globe, I will be following my heart. And of course this means I have Kansas winning. No bias here whatsoever. No, but for real, they have the best coach in the game, quality guard play, and of course, AP All-American first team selection member, Jalen Wilson. Some notable picks I have are one, Duke going to the final four as a five seed. They have a talented roster and are trending in the right direction. This year, I'm trying a pretty unorthodox method, but it was pretty fun trying to figure out. I counted up all of the syllables in the name of the school and their nickname and gave the team a score based on that. For example, Indiana Hoosiers has six points. If they were taking on the Texas Longhorns, they would only have four, so obviously IU would have won that game. So to that end, I have the Louisiana Raging Cajuns to win it all. My final four is a 9, 10, 13, and 14 seed, so I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we'll see who comes out on top. From what I can tell, it's anybody's game. Plus, we've invited our other Globe pals to play along, so we'll keep you updated on any of their crazy picks in the future. Speaking of crazy predictions, what do you think your biggest wild card will be? Well, I have a 13 seed winning it all, so probably that. But I also have two of the one seeds, Houston and Kansas, getting upset in the very first round. So we'll have to see how that works out for me. What about you? I think my biggest wild card could be VCU of the West region. The number 12 seed has been playing with confidence and are currently on a nine game winning streak. The, Atlant the Atlantic 10 always comes to the tournament prepared, including last year where Richmond upset Iowa and Davidson pushed Michigan State right to the end. Well, the tournament starts in earnest Thursday, so make sure to get your bracket done if you haven't already. We will be back next week with our take on how the tournament is developing and what you might have missed, our bracket updates, and a look at who Goshen College seems to be rooting for. We'll see you next week for more Maple Madness.